Ladies and gentlemen, football is back, and I got a film breakdown for you. We got a uh, Tyler Smith, Cowboys first round pick, uh, gonna be breaking down his debut versus the Broncos. But before we get started, we got a word from our sponsors, Manscaped, the leaders and below the belt male grooming, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be when it comes to male grooming. Creating these tools to keep your man parts clean and keeping them safe with the Lawnmower 4.0 ceramic blades, advanced skin safe technology to cut down on some of those nicks and grooming acts. Accidents. The lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof so you can shave in the shower and it has an LED light so you can shave in the dark. Now, I know we're talking about packages and if you're a fan of package deals, they have the performance package. I'm a big fan of the performance package because it comes with the lawnmower 4.0, the weed whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer, and you get ball toner, ball deodorant. It comes with a pair of Manscaped boxers, which I've graduated to my lucky draws, and a travel shed bag to keep all of your goodies in. Now, I'm not just out here saying that this stuff is good just because Manscaped is holding us down on the channel just because they supporting us I've been using Manscaped products for a year and a half now and no complaints god damn it hey let's do this I want to save y'all some money go to manscaped.com I want you to get everything over there just put everything in your shopping cart performance pack just buy six or seven lawnmowers and pass them out right and then at checkout I want you to use promo code VOCH20 V-O-C-H-2-0 VOCH20 for 20% off and free shipping and Manscaped ships international so be sure to check that out Manscaped they are the leaders man your balls will thank you let's get into this film man so how about this man how about this how about this let's just let's just get this started we ain't doing nothing else. Let's 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 just let's just check this out. So Tyler Smith, the, the one thing that I wanted to um, look at going into this game was to see if Tyler Smith was able to do it in an actual game setting. We know that. Uh, let me move me over here. We know that Tyler was able to do this stuff in practice, and you know Connor McGovern's been starting it. You know Mike McCarthy's been doing this funky little let the you know let the rookie earn it nonsense, and I really you know hate it. Um, but when I went to the training camp in Oxnard, you know Tyler Smith was clearly the better guy and i think this film kind of reflects that also let's get into it we ain't doing nothing else for the duration of the film session tyler smith will be your left guard and i think what we get finally with tyler smith is that we get power at the point of attack from the offensive line position from the left guard position in particular you know we've always been athletic there or at least with the connor williams era we've been athletic at left guard back in the ron leary era we were powerful but we weren't as athletic i think tyler smith and tyler really proved this to me he because he showed me not only his power but he showed me his athletic and his movement ability, you know, this game, right? And I'm going to show you some of that film later. But Tyler was able to be athlete guy and be power guy. And I think that's something we've been missing uh, on this team for a minute, man. Uh, you see Tyler right here setting up the combo. He's going to be the point man from the combo. Tyler Biotis got his hands on, Ty on Tyler Smith's back. That's going to be hard for us. We got two Tylers and a Tyrun and two Smiths. We got to be careful with that. So Biotis has his hand on Tyler Smith. Uh, back or whatever just preparing just in case the combo is there but Biotis has his eyes on the linebacker there but basically this is a one-on-one -on -one block between Tyler Smith and um, the uh, down tackle there and we just get movement ladies and gentlemen and look I was kind of mad at Rico Dowder here because if Rico first of all let me just also give props to take a look at your right tackle Terrence Steele this is a phenomenal block on this three tech right here uh, number 78 your right tackle uh, Terrence Steele that phenomenal block right there right and if you're Rico Dowd, all you got to do is keep this thing front side. Front side meaning if the play is going left, then the left side is your front side. Look, if you just keep this thing going here, Josh Ball is engaged with 56. Uh, Tyler Smith is going to take care of 92. Biotis at some point is going to move up to next level to block 50. Let me just move this forward just a little bit more. Bro, Rico, where you going? <laughs> what you looking at Trent Richardson you know what I mean but it is what it is we're here to break down uh Tyler Smith though Rico eventually cut this thing back and ran into a lot of trouble but good block from your rookie the Cowboys threw the ball a lot and what I thought was super important was for us to see Pat, uh, Tyler Smith in pass protection right uh, we know that he was a you know physical mauler you know type guy but what's he gonna look like in these in these pass pro situations man and look there was nothing that none of these kids on the Broncos D line uh, were able to do with Tyler Smith physically uh, let me just show you another example of his uh, of his pass pro here 
So I talked about this on the volume during our uh, training camp episodes in Oxnard, right? We're just talking about how some guards, when they deal with bull rushes, they got to give ground slowly. They got to pop their feet three or four times, and then they'll actually, you know, be in better position to anchor. Uh, That's what Cam Jurgens was doing with that uh, Jordan Davis highlight that was on Twitter the other day, right? And me and Will still were talking about Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith deals with bull rushes so well because he's so powerful. I don't think there's ever going to be a time to where some dude, some D lineman took Tyler and dropped him in the quarterback's lap. I don't think that's ever going to be the case. Look at Tyler Smith dealing with this bull rush right here. You're going to get boom, two steps, drop your butt, is done. Done. That is erasing a bull rush, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you give yourself about two steps worth of leverage and everything stops. And look, this angle doesn't do it. Hold on. Let me go to the wide view, right? Cartel view doesn't do it justice right here. I can just see it because I got like, you know, Fat boy eyes, O line eyes. Look at Tyler Smith right here, at left guard. Boom, boom, boom. Look at look at where he stops. Look, Cooper Rush had so much space. Look at this. <laughs> this is where the bull rush stopped. This is where Cooper Rush is. So the pocket was comfortable, right? I know from the from the cartel view, it looked like he was in Cooper Rush's lap. Look at where he at. <laughs> look, look at where he at, man. Tyler Smith is is going to be you know such a day and night example of what we got from Connor Williams. And this ain't even me, you know, poo pooing on Connor Williams there, because Connor Williams is my son Tyler Smith my new son though man I I got new kids I'm proud of moving on couple more things that I wanted to highlight, right? Um, there's different types of technique. There's technique like within the physical act of blocking, you know, like where to put your hands, where to do this, where to do that. Then there's scheme techniques, right? Like how to deal with a D-line problem, techniques to kind of handle that, right? So when um, Tyler was in Tulsa, he wasn't great at dealing with stunts or games or gap exchanges, right? He would get so caught up in his wrestling match and whoever the point guy was, Tyler Smith would just end up going with that point guy and not really, you know, being patient enough to deal with the gap exchange. Take a look at your left guard right here, man. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing else, bro. Let's just look at your left guard, bro. Him and him and uh, him and what's his face here? We ain't gonna say his name, but him and what's his face is just uh, look at Tyler Smith. Now we're only focused on Tyler Smith because look, J- you know Josh did kind of let his man's get through, and Cooper Rush did get the ball batted down. But let's just slowly walk through this, right? This is going to be Tyler and Josh Ball versus these two outside characters, right? Can I see my mouse? Yeah, versus these these two outside characters right here, right? We're gonna get to this point. Everybody's even now. It's still one for one and two for two, right? No problems here. But what we're gonna get is we see the outside guy, the defensive end, this character right here. We see him start to um, start to loop over, and Tyler Smith notices this because the the tackle in front of him kind of slants over hard to Josh his right hip a little bit. Tyler notices that. So Tyler's going to push this tackle into Josh, right? Boom, like so. But then Tyler gets his eyes up. This is the best part about it. He didn't do this at Tulsa. Tyler gets his eyes up to find the loop guy. And then he pounds that post foot back inside. And then he goes to pick up his man right there. That's a fantastic job by Tyler Smith. Was that a good job by Josh Ball? No. Now take a look at this play, right? You're gonna get Tyler uh, Smith and Matt Foreignac. They're gonna combo 90, uh, 96 up to the linebacker here. The running back, um, Aaron Champaclin, Champagne. Shambodia. Uh the running back is going to read this uh this uh combo block perfectly here, right? Take a look at this. Boom, 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 a field, a field, cut it, get between Tyler. Ah! Oh, <laughs> look at your left guard and your center, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're gonna start off in good combo position. Hold on. We're gonna start off in good combo position. Tyler Smith is gonna keep his eyes up to look for the linebacker. Once Tyler feels that Fornyak is taking over this block, Tyler's gonna give one final push to get him up off of him. He's gonna go to the linebacker to create this little lane right here. And um Samurai Shampoo right here is just gonna run right through the gap, son. Fantastic by Tyler. 
And I just wanted to show one more uh, combo situation because I thought it was so fantastic. Take a look at Tyler and Josh Ball right here. Tyler's just going to do a fantastic job of, of bashing into the um, into the uh, three tech there, right? Just getting that powerful shove. And, and this is where we talk about being help guy, right? And I would always get on to Connor Williams about being not such a good help guy uh, to where basically whoever was the left tackle, it'll be Tyron Smith, right? Or tell Ty and Secchi or whatever, uh, they would have to put their full effort into blocking some of these three tech dudes because Connor Williams really didn't give a good, uh, really didn't give a good assist on his left side before he climbed to the uh, second level there. Tyler Smith, you're gonna see him give a good shove to this three tech here before he moves on to the second level. Look at this, bow, damn it, turned him, but with his shoulder, by himself. Tyler Smith turned this gentleman with his shoulder, by himself. Then he climbed to the second level. Fantastic job by Tyler Smith there. And of course, Josh Ball was not good enough to pull off the rest of this block here. Now, of course, there's this play that's, um, that Cowboy Nation is kind of talking about here. Tyler Smith uh, had a little bit of a blunder, um, or, or at least that's what was said. This was on the Cooper Rush interception. I'll just go ahead and play it, and we'll come back and talk about it. Um, there was a dude that kind of ran free, rushed the throw, and then it made Cooper Rush throw the interception. I think Cooper Rush was just bad enough that day to where he was going to throw the interception anyway. So I wanted to look at this play and really figure out like whose fault it was. And I think this is a miscommunication um, from Cooper Rush. I think he wasn't clear on which way the protection was sliding. Because if you look at everybody else, right? Let's just take a look at everybody else. Let's just slow down. Let's just take a look at the right side first. That's the right tackle, right guard, and center. Let's just see what they're doing first, right? If you take a look at this, we got enough guys to block this up front. Let me let me let me put me back on the screen. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. We we got enough guys to to block it up front. If you look at one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen per one, two, three, four, five defensive linemen. You feel me? So we have enough guys to get a good five on five here. Now, in my mind, maybe Cooper Rush was trying to get everybody to slot. Cause look, this this was my was my first theory, right? Okay, well maybe everybody was supposed to slide to the right, and we just do a five count in that direction. Maybe they thought thought forty was a guy that they you know should be blocking or whatever. But the problem with that theory is if you slide everybody to the right then 94 would run by himself he would run free to cooper rush's backside which is why i don't think that was a, a smart idea which is why i don't think that was the case um and then i look at tyler biotis right at our center and tyler biotis is looking like tyler smith was supposed to be helping him here right which is why 91 just kind of ultimately ran free but what i thought was interesting also if you take a look at your left tackle 75 josh ball josh ball is moving as if he's supposed to get help from tyler also um like he was supposed to get 94 to the outside and tyler smith was supposed to block 95 and biotis was supposed to stay on 91. so what i think this could have been it was either a communication error by cooper rush or tyler biotis slid away from 91 when he wasn't supposed to in my mind that's what i thought this was all about here I don't know. I don't know. Like, like you know, if, and of course, I'm just some dude watching film on YouTube and I would need, you know, um, I would need to to ask a coach or something like that to know exactly what they were doing on offense. But, you know, that play led to the Cooper Rush interception. I saw some people on the social media machines kind of blame that on, on Tyler Smith. I wasn't ready to blame it on Tyler Smith without looking at the film, but I looked at the film and I still ain't got an answer for you. So I did give you a couple of theories that I had on, um, you know, who it could have been. So y'all go in the chat box and tell me who y'all thought was wrong in that, in that case in particular. But uh, besides that, a very satisfying debut from Tyler Smith. And I hope they just quit playing and give my man all the the reps work off quit playing with my guy you feel me uh but we'll cross that road whenever we get that i think it's only a matter of time i think tyler's gonna have another good game you know maybe next week then week after that then it's gonna be regular season for him i hope he doesn't run into a wall or nothing like that like a rookie wall and nothing but that typically doesn't happen for like offensive line like our job's a little different that's more so like a defender's thing I don't know, but uh, I'm ready for some more Tyler Smith in my life, and y'all let me know if y'all are also. Uh, be sure to subscribe to The Volume. I go live Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Central, so be sure you're, you're uh, subbed over there and on the Vach Lombardi channel. And look, leave a like on the video, man. We need likes. You know, YouTube sees likes, and they push it, push it out to the uh, to the rest of people's recommended section. So if you want uh, to help me out, more people will see this video if y'all just hit the like button. All right? Follow me on social media, uh, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. 
on everything on my non-football platform is twitch.tv slash Vosh Lombardi. The Patreon will be firing up soon. I know for sure it's going to be ready for the regular season. Um, we're going to be, you know, doing the film breakdowns in there like we did uh, like we did last year and like we did for the draft. So uh, if y'all want a uh, part of that when uh, September 11th versus Tampa Bay come around, well, September It'll probably be 13 by the time I get the film to watch it or whatever. But we will be watching film weekly in the uh, Patreon. So be sure to get into that. Get back into that if you, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, with that being said, uh, that's all we got for y'all today. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wilson and Peaski Weeski. And I'll see y'all tomorrow on the volume at 3 p.m. Central to break down what happened, uh, you know, over the uh, preseason game with Will Still. Appreciate y'all, man. Volume. <laughs>